we are going to measure the speed of sound. To do that, I've got our timer, TSA, time speed acceleration. And in this unit, we have four different methods of measuring time. And I'm going to use the fast timer for this experiment. I have two sound switches which will connect to our unit here. The sound switch has a microphone on the front here and a little switch on the top for resetting. So let's plug these in to the side of the TSA and it doesn't matter which sound switch goes where, we'll just plug it in and we're going to place these sound switches one metre apart. This one I will place at the end of the metre stick and this one at the start. The front of this sound switch is at the start of the metre and the front of this sound switch is at the end of the metre stick. And they can go into either input, it does not matter. I want to select fast timer, so I select until I see what I want. Fast timer, press enter. And before I press go, I just want to pause and reset my sound switches. And when I do that, my two LEDs are on here. I'm going to make a sound that will travel down here. When it hits this sound switch, it will cause an event that starts the clock. The sound wave keeps travelling, this meter, and when it hits this sound switch, it stops the clock. And we're going to find the time that it takes to travel one meter. Now, the source of the sound is quite important. We need a very sharp rising pulse. To do that, I'm going to use this clapper board. And by demonstrating that, I've actually caused my lights here to go off. I need to reset that before I start my experiment. If you don't have a clapper board, then another good way of getting a sharp rising pulse is to take an empty bottle and the plastic handle of a screwdriver and give it a short, sharp bang. And that gives you the rising pulse that works well with this apparatus. I'm going to use this just now. I need to reset my sound switch. It says go when ready. I'm ready, so go. And it's waiting for the sound to arrive at this one to start the clock. And it tells me that the time to travel that meter was 2.87 milliseconds. What we need to do now is take a calculator and the speed of sound is distance divided by time, meters per second. And if I enter 2.87 in, 2.87, it tells me that the speed of sound is 348 meters per second. Textbook answer, at 20 degrees Celsius, the speed of sound is 343 meters per second in dry air. So, not a bad result. But it should be done several times and an average taken. A variation on this experiment is to place the two switches, let's say at 50 centimetres apart, then 70, 90, and the 10, and so on. And build up a graph of distance and time. And the slope of that graph, of course, is the speed of sound. Now, for pupils further up the school, when you're introducing graphs, that might be another way in, because they'll remember from further down the school when they studied the speed of sound, they got this answer of about 343 metres per second, and the gradient of that graph step, like so, over these different distances, would also be round about the 343. 
Okay, speed of sound. Sound switches, TSA, sound, and the answer. Very straightforward.